As southern governors continue sending migrants north, we wanted to take a closer look at what a sanctuary city is. And Marie is going to explain. I so. am. You know, part of the issue with trying to define a sanctuary city is that it can mean a variety mm -hmm. of different things, depending on the place. So broadly speaking, uh, it can be defined as cities, counties, or states with laws dictating how much local jurisdictions can cooperate with federal immigration officials. So there are 11 states that have made themselves sanctuary states and hundreds of cities and counties that have their own range of policies. For example, Chicago, uh, they have a so-called welcoming city ordinance. And that means that they do not ask about immigration status or use that to deny city services. Officials also are not allowed to provide immigrations and customs enforcement support. And then there is Clayton County, uh, that's in Georgia. It has a much narrower, narrower definition. Uh, officers do not honor ICE requests to detain migrants for deportation. So many sanctuary city laws revolve around ICE detainment requests. Here's how it works. Essentially, when you're arrested and you're booked for a crime, law enforcement takes your fingerprints, and then those fingerprints are automatically sent to federal databases, including one ICE maintains for unauthorized immigrants. Now, ICE can send a detainer request to ask local police to hold a person until the agency arrives. At sanctuary cities, however, they do not enforce those requests. That's the difference. So why would a city do this? Well, mostly, you know, it has to it has to do with obviously ensuring immigrants feel comfortable uh, reporting and cooperating with criminal investigations. If someone's worried about deportation for themselves, their family, their friends, they are much less likely or willing to assist the police. For some cities, though, it's also about the financial costs of assisting ICE. Federal officials are not required to reimburse local law enforcement for the costs of housing individuals awaiting deportation. One thing that is important to make clear, sanctuary cities do not completely shield immigrants from deportation or prevent them from being prosecuted for a crime. They simply dictate just how much local law enforcement can assist ICE officials in the deportation process.